AM 1570, WBGX Harvey, Chicago. You are now tuned in to Mind, Body, and Soul with Annette, where your host, Annette Harris, analyzes intriguing questions such as, do Christians suffer from mental disorders? Do you wonder why they act abnormal? What is really going on in their minds? Well, keep listening for a biblical understanding of the psychology of the mind. I'm pressing on. Well, hello, good morning, and welcome again to another session of Mind, Body, and Soul with Annette. And I'm your host, Annette Harris. And let's go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, we thank you for all things. We thank you for this wonderful day that you have blessed us to see. We thank you for the bright sunshine, for the activity of our limbs. We thank you for another time to come before your people. We ask that you would please word our mouths. Give us what to say in the name of Jesus, we pray. And our opening scripture, the first part of Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. And we thank God again for another time to come before you. It is uh, Wednesday, May 28th, and the time now is 10.01 a.m. And we should enjoy a beautiful day of 72 degrees on today. And um, we are appreciative uh, that we are here again with you all uh, listening to us and we, we thank you for joining us. Now, before I get started, I would like to hear a word from one of my sponsors. Hello, everyone. This is Pastor John E. Jackson of Revival Fellowship Church, 2810 West Washington Boulevard, Chicago, Illinois. I would like to take this time to invite you and your family and friend to come out to our morning service where every Sunday is Revival Sunday. Also, you can view us by the web at revivalfellowshipchurch.org. That is Revival Fellowship 2010 West Washington Boulevard, live streaming on the web at revivalfellowshipchurch.org. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing you. Remember, that's Revival Fellowship Church of God in Christ, 2810 West Washington. That's 2810 West Washington. Or you can catch us at revivalfellowshipchurch.org. Revival Fellowship Church. Org. Looking forward to seeing you there Sunday, 11.15 and 12.15 on the internet. Well, we thank God for that wonderful sponsor, Pastor John E. Jackson, Revival Fellowship, Church of God in Christ. You know, uh, Pastor Cribs, you know, uh, Pastor Jackson actually had a wonderful celebration this past weekend. You, know, you want to know what that was? I think I know what it was. <laughs> Pastor Johnny Jackson. He was a graduate from Chicago Baptist Institute. It's a cap and gown in his life. Yes. And I was so excited when I found out. I was talking to his daughter, Janice, and uh, we are so uh, grateful. We're, we're, we're thankful to the Lord for blessing him to graduate. And uh, that, that's a wonderful accomplishment. It is. It is. It we're is. proud of him. And, and the whole family was there, I believe, uh, the other daughter that's from uh, out of state, she was in town. Yes, so Reva. the whole family was there. Yes, Reva. She was there, and uh, they were all together. They were so uh, excited to uh, join in with their father on this past weekend. And we, we thank God for Pastor Jackson and the, and the family joining um, Mind, Body, and Soul. We're appreciative of them supporting uh, us. Yes, yes, absolutely. And do you not know on today we have another sponsor that I want to discuss? Like I said, do you not know? Yeah. Yes, because you didn't know. No, I didn't. Boston, <laughs> Boston Custom Designs, and the proprietor is Sheila Rowe Boston. Yes. Uh, this company is yes. a wonderful company. Yes. They 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 said they're small, but they're mighty. You know, they're they're comparable to Kinkos, and you know when you get your really? different printing. Pro- yes, oh yes, printing and design company located in South Holland, Illinois, and they said they are skilled at taking your ideas and transforming them into something truly special. And I have had the wonderful pleasure of working with this young woman, and she does different programs, you know, church programs, flyers, oh yes, business cards, uh, letterhead, and I would like for each of you, I'm sure you all um, at some point or another, you have a need for, you know, any of these services, please contact her, Sheila Sheila Rowe Boston. Again, the name of the company is Boston Custom Designs Incorporated. Their address, P.O. Box 188 
two in Calumet City, Illinois, six zero four zero nine. And they their phone number, I'm sorry, their website address is bostondesigns.net. B-O-S-T-O-N-D-E-S-I-G-N-S dot net. And their phone number is 708-825-9825. Please contact uh, Ms. Boston and let her know that you were heard about her on Mind, Body, and Soul. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you'll be pleased. Well, Pastor Cribs is here with me on this morning. He was a little late, but um, we're glad he came on in. <laughs> You put that out there to the Oh, to yes. The I was in the building, ladies and gentlemen. But you weren't in the studio with me. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Well. Well. I'm some gl- people are going to almost make it to heaven. I'm glad you joined I was in the number, Lord. Just not in the rapture. Just not in the rapture. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> now, that's a problem. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> let, let, let's move on because I'm let's about to get on. caught up. Well, Pastor Cribs, <laughs> you know, last week... <laughs> Our engineer is laughing hysterically. Last week, we actually had a part two of our of our topic of the celebrities yes. and their narcissistic behavior. Say that again. Narcissistic behavior. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that first time. <laughs> but the, the twist on that was our parents or even the body of Christ contributing to this problem within our own children. Mm-hmm. And you know what? You gave us I probably the best top ten I've ever heard. Really? Oh my God, yes. Really? I was out of myself. I was out of my body. You was out of yourself. (laughs) But the number one top ten. Do you remember number one top (laughs) ten? Raise your kids. (laughs) Raise your own kids. (laughs) Get your kids raised. You know, and I I think that was simple yet profound. And I, I thought that that was it was much needed. I mean, the listeners enjoyed it. Facebook, they chimed in. And, and you know, a lot of times I tell people it's sometimes it may sound comical, you know, when we give out the information. But it is, is needed and it is, um, you know, something that we can take and, and apply. Yes. It really is. Yes. I try to make it uh, as such water cooler talk. <laughs> and something that you can take and say, hey, the, he's right about this. Right, exactly. It's funny, but he's right. He's Exactly. Yeah, he he really is funny. Um, You know, and I just. Uh, <laughs> you know, the engineer is trying, trying to get his own show. He got a lot <laughs> he to say today. Why well, he got keeps turning around? Why around? What you want to say, Robert? Um, anyway, uh, Pastor Cripps. Yes. <clears throat> this is your show on today. Oh, well, praise God. It's about time. Welcome to your show. About time God turned this thing around <laughs> for me. <laughs> Ah. Well, maybe I need to reword that. You have any money? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> Pastor Jackson and, and, and Boston, Boston Designs. Boston Designs. The Lord sent a ram in the bush <laughs> to support my ministry. No. You, you, right. You had to fill my pocketbook. Uh, but anyway, you had a topic that you wanted to discuss. Yes. Uh, a, little, a little while ago. Uh, well, actually, last week, mm-hmm. uh, 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 Sister Annette and I discussed the idea of how environment Mm -hmm. affects our behavior and our mentality. Yes. Well, of course, we were doing another subject, but she thought it was a a good topic. Mm -hmm. So we we put it out there uh, on the World Wide Web, on social media, Mm -hmm. and uh, there's been a lot of discussion about it. And you, too, may have something to say as you listen about how our environment, our surroundings affect us mentally. Mm -hmm. Now, we always think about the children. We always think about how uh, rap affects the this generation, how movies and television affects this generation. But so many other things in our environment affect our behavior. Yes. We act certain ways because Mm -hmm. of certain things around us, and we may not even know. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Subconsciously. Subconsciously, just as a result of what you're surrounded by. Exactly. And if you change that surrounding, subconsciously, your behavior will change and you'll go, oh, why am I doing this? Right. Because you're in a different place. You're in a different place. Yeah. So I, we titled this The Mentality of Our Environment. Mm. Well, you did the title. Wait, well, actually. Because it's your show. It's my show. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Well, I did the title. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, I did the hard work, Saints. You, you see who's working on this show. <laughs> She gets I, the right titles and go to sleep. I started off by telling them it was you. This is all you. So if you all don't like today's show. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, wow. Um, no. So <laughs> so it, 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 the question was, how does our environment, the culture, the neighborhood, family, school, even our churches, how does it affect our thinking and our, and our behavior? So, yes, you're right. We did have a lot of people to chime in on the poll that we did on, yes. on yesterday. Yes. And, uh, what, and uh, go ahead. If, if I can, I, I thought. They did such a profound job. They wrote the show. They really, really. did. 
They really, really did. So I, I'm sure some of them may be listening and, and may not be. I, I'm not going to use full names for the for protection of the fact that they may be right. May and have been we working. May forget some names, and I don't want to do that. Working while they was on Facebook, so <laughs> they didn't want their their boss listening. <laughs> so um, one of one of our friends, uh, a dear a dear buddy of ours, a dear buddy, a dear buddy. Oh uh, yes. Uh, he says, uh, uh, in terms of uh, environment, when you learn to do better, mm-hmm. you should do better. Mm. Your past or even your current situation does not have to determine your future or even how you behave. But fail you, failure to learn uh-huh. and fear to learn mm. uh, will make your present situation worse. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Because sometimes we, we, we blame it on other people. It's up to you to learn. Right. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and we have to take that personal responsibility. The, oh my goodness! Oh, the, that, am I stepping on something? That, that's so that's so profound because there's a there's a whole string of posts uh-huh. that talked about personal accountability. Yes, and you don't have to uh, live in your mistakes. Yes, or the fact that it's around you, uh-huh. it doesn't have to make you a product of it. So right. Yes, you you save me fifteen minutes of reading. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because, you know, when, when you think about it, if it's if it's a negative or an adverse uh, situation that you're in, no, you don't. You can take that personal responsibility and not become right. a product of that environment, you know, because and I even saw uh, different ones that mentioned about how, you know, they, they the, the area they came out of. Um, one mentioned that she she lived in the projects. Mm-hmm. However, when mm-hmm. someone dropped her off. You know, at the project, they said, like, oh, I didn't know you lived because right. you didn't act like you right. lived in the project. Absolutely. So she was not a product of, of that negative. Of the environment. Right. And then that labeling, too. Uh, 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 yes, sir. Ephraim mm-hmm. says uh, there's Curtis so much. Ephraim? That, wow. There's so much to choose from. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he, he, he chose one. He says the negative effects of family degradation, mm. children born out of wedlock, divorce, missing fathers, uh these things do affect yes our children yes they yes, behave they a certain way and you know what they're not at the age a lot of times to express hey i, I feel some kind of way cuz daddy left or right. I, I, you know i'm a little upset that that you and mama are not together uh-huh. so they act it out right and uh, after 22 years of education i just want to tell you parents you know we get the brunt of it right the, you know they they don't say nothing at the house they go in their room and close the door but when they get to my classroom uh-huh. i can't control them right. and i have to backtrack and figure out okay on report card day mm-hmm. last year i saw both of you and now mama just coming up oh mm-hmm. i gotta figure it out then mm-hmm. when what should happen is the village needs to be reenacted Yes. It takes me. Yes. The teacher. It takes you. Yes. The parent. It takes the lady on the corner. It right, takes all of guard. us. Mm-hmm. Because it, it, they may not talk to mama. Right. But they'll come down the street and talk to Miss Sally. Yes, they will. And, and get it all out and feel so much better. Right. So, yes, uh, the, the, the splitting up of the family uh-huh. has taken such a toll on our future generations. Yes. Uh, let me read. You know Go what? Ahead, I, I want to say something because... It a lot of times they don't know what it is that is affecting them. Hmm. They they may not even recognize that it it is because of the split between my mom and my dad that I'm acting out like this. Absolutely. You know, um, so I, I think it's it's a plus if they do come to you, the teacher. Yeah. And talk if they do come to the guidance counselor at school and say, OK, this is bothering me. Yeah. Or. You know, something's going on. I really know what's going on yeah. here. But watch this. In, mm-hmm. a, another environmental thing. Uh, society says, suck it up. Yes, Be tough. it does. Don't let it out. Right. So you got the struggle of the family breaking up. Uh huh. But I got to be tough because I'm, I'm a G. I'm a thug. Right. I'm a gangster. I uh-huh. can't talk about that. That's mm-hmm. soft. Mm-hmm. So now what do I do? I listen to a little Chief Keith. Mm-hmm. And he says, bust a cap in him. Right. So this is what I do. Right. This is how I relieve the pressures of what's going on at mm. home. You know, you you. Uh, it, this is I can make this personal on today. Please do. My uh, my parents were divorced when I was young. Wow. They were. Now see, you you're not a product of that. I couldn't. I wouldn't be able to tell that. Well, praise God. Well, you <laughs> know, my mother she ruled with a very strong hand. Oh. There was you couldn't get out. <laughs> you couldn't bring a ball in the house if she didn't buy it. Where you get that from? Take it back out. You know so. <laughs> You know, but she knew what was in her house. Yeah. 
you know. But, you know, as I grew older, I, I did realize that, you know, and back in the day, you know, I'm I'm a little I'm a little young right now. Well, day before yesterday. That's right. All. Yeah. So, you know, back in the day, <laughs> you know, divorce wasn't it wasn't accepted. Mm -hmm. as much you know and so we were you know kind of I, I felt bad because my parents were divorced you know that I didn't have both parents in the home but then you know as later on in life I realized you know we the ladies the girls we needed our father mm -hmm. we really did mm -hmm. and so there were choices that I made in life that was indicative of that if I had my father in the home some of those choices I wouldn't have made wow Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right there because each parent contributes a certain aspect to the raising yes. of the child. Yes. There's certain things you're just not, not going to learn from mama. Right. Certain things right. my daddy can't give you. Right. And we couldn't always say that, oh, the, the boys need their father. The boys need their father. Well, the girls, the girls too. Do. That's your first date. Mm, there that's you the go. first man you, you interact mm -hmm, with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. I, I I say today some some um, choices I would not have made if my wow. dad was in the home. Now he would you know come for his his time that he had with us, you know and everything, but mm -mm. Nothing like him being there. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Uh, we we got this conversation going on uh -huh. on, on our our post. Yes. And we had to direct it. I'm I'm a, I'm a pretty organized fellow. Yeah. So. Uh, I saw where it was going. You know, we were talking to each other, and I wanted to kind of direct it to make sure we had answers okay. to the questions. Right. And so I asked, well, okay, how does it affect it, and what can we do about what it? And uh, uh, Miss Ware mm -hmm. had some very insightful comments. She says, yes, she uh, 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 I, I believe Mr. Crosley said that music uh, affects. Is, is an effective environment. Yes. I see your finger up. Yeah. Go ahead. No, go there. ahead. He, okay. no, I was saying I agree with him. Uh, go ahead. And she, her response was, well, if you want to uh, use music, put together a music program mm -hmm. to educate children by bringing mentors in to show how to play various instruments. Yes. She also says, uh -huh. uh, what about the church? Yes. Uh, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to paraphrase. She said, we pay all these musicians good money. And we got churches in the community mm -hmm. and we give them the money and the church and the musician go out the community. See there. Why can't the church just ask the musicians, hey, can you spend uh, an hour? We'll, right. we'll cut choir rehearsal because maybe they can't sing no way. So ain't no use of staying in there two hours. <laughs> We're going to stay in an hour and a half and then take 30 minutes and work with these boys and play drums with them. Did right. I say that out loud? <laughs> you did. On, on the air, across on the, the country. Air. Yes, I said it. <laughs> oh, praise but, the Lord. But, but we pay a lot of money. To ourselves right. in the church, when the community around the church is bone dry, mm. outreach. There you we go. got to get out there, right? And then you say, "Are we doing what we're supposed to be doing right. at the church?" Then, uh oh, oh, well. uh -oh I'm stepping. Mm -mm. Okay, go oh, ahead. Lord. What else you have? Because Sharon, she gave a, she a did. few different. I love this. I'm sorry, Miss Ware. Yes, Miss Ware. That you giving up all the names. These people <laughs> gonna get fired because I'm seeing the time dates on these posts and the. Well, you don't have to say all that. She could have commented <laughs> last night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bring back programs mm -hmm. to educate younger mothers and fathers on, drum roll please, how to raise their children. Right. Parenting, it, there's no manual. Right. And when I'm 21, mm -hmm. it's different than when I'm 41. Yeah, indeed. At, at, at 41, I don't know it all. <laughs> I'm not 41. Let me get that together. No, he's not. No, I'm not 41. But, but and he's not younger we, than it either. <laughs> we got to keep educating the the younger parents on what to do because they keep running into mistakes. Yes. And all they have mm -hmm. is what they know. Right. Based on the environment they're in. Mm -hmm. So if when I ran into a problem with the kid, my mama sent me to my room. Right. I go to my room. Okay. Five years later, I found out it's a learning deficiency. Mm. Now, for five years, I've been sending you to your room because I didn't have the education. Oh, wow. That's deep. Yeah. I found out it's it's a blood infection. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could have had that treated if I would just go, go sit down. Ain't nothing right, wrong with you. Right. Go back outside and play. Okay. Well, that's all the education I had. Okay. Somebody needed to have said, honey, when they limp like that, I think you need to take them to the doctor. Right. So they need to learn as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh who else do you have? I have a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. 
Well, yeah, I think you already mentioned what Sharon said. If you want to use music, put together a program, then educate them to bring mentors in. Yes. Um, Curtis, did you already mention about him with the two, you did about the two-parent household? You can, no, you please. You get into more detail please. with him. Uh, he, he, I, didn't get, I didn't go into detail. Well, he said everything, in my opinion, revolves around two-parent households and the overall importance of staying together. Hmm. Uh, especially, let's see, um... Oh, wow. You know, Curtis, he, he's a very detailed brother. And his his biggest thing is that he does not like for, um, I don't want to say the word hate, but he does not like when the man in the home, the husband in the home does not take the responsibility that he's supposed to hmm. um, take. And I, I totally agree with him. Hmm. A man abandoning children, he said that's a big dislike of his. And, you know, so it it is important. You know, for the men to be a, a big part of their home and not, you know, allow their children. And, you know, we, we see this so much. The women are, women are raising the children, you know, not allow her to just raise them. Get in there and do what you're supposed to do as a man. That That's his biggest thing. I, and I agree. Mm-hmm. And let's go here because somebody's going to say it. Mm-hmm. I, I believe in being an advocate for everybody. Yes. Yes. There are those that, that keep them away from the father. Right. This this, oh, mm-hmm. this is my last show. This is what y'all got to learn. <laughs> at at some point, y'all liked each other. Right. Because y'all saw each other with no clothes on. Thank that's you. That's how the baby got here. And that's what he was a- saying. Apparently, it wasn't that good to keep you around. Mm. Grow up right. and learn, okay, it's not going to be about us anymore. Right. If you just can't stand to see each other, mm-hmm. look, I'm going to blow the horn twice. Right. Send little TJ downstairs. Right. Or I'm going to come by at 5 o'clock. Had a back door open, I'm going to send him in. If you all can't stand each other, that's fine. Right. But the child is not the, the, the bouncing exactly, ball to be in the exactly. middle. Exactly. You got to work it out so that the children will benefit. Exactly. You know, from, from the, you know, the parents and being in their lives and everything. Because once they're neglected, yes, they're going to go to the elements of the street and, um, you know, other things that are being, you know, brought up in their face. They, they, they see so much at, in school. It is negativity. So if they don't have this love and this, you know, uh, concern from the parents at home and the parents reaching out and doing for them, then, of course, they there there's something lacking there. So they're going to go and reach out somewhere else for it. Exactly. And then they'll reach out to the drugs. They'll reach out to the to the, you know, the the sex, you know, yeah. and all of that that that's being shown. Yeah. You know, to them. Uh, Miss Ware. Mm hmm. While we're mentoring young young people. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should be honest about where we have come from Uh-oh. and what we had to overcome mm. to be successful and just to survive. Okay. I'm going to stop there. Uh-huh. I think that's one of the most profound statements okay. because in the African-American community, it is hood rich mm. or nothing. Mm. See, You got to look it. Right. You ain't got to have it. Mm. You just got to have the Fendi purse. Right. You got to have the the uh, 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 Meslin right. slippers. You got to have You got to pull up in the Dodge Charger. But, uh, hey, wh- why is it so much uh, status and appearance? Mm-hmm. Somebody needs to sit down and say, look, let me tell you all something. Right. I worked at McDonald's for four years, and I got fired because I burned all the fries. <laughs> this is what you do. You do a good job. I was right. late all the time. That's yes. why they fired me. Yes. So this is what you do. You go to work on time. Yes. Hey, you teach I, them. I had, a, I had a marriage, and you know what? I ran around and cheated on, on her with seven women. Right. You find a woman, this is the one you want to be with. Be faithful. Right. Th- this is where we need to be. Yes. And because Remember where it you doesn't from. make us a hero. Right. We don't want to say that. See there? Yeah, because you, you have this certain level that you want to um, be on and want people to think, oh, they're so, you know, yeah. high and mighty. Yeah. Or they're perfect. Image. Or, you know, exactly. Image. You know, but it, it's, I mean, in reality, it's it's not like that, you know. So come down, you know, relate, you know, and let them know what to do and what not to do. And you can do that from your own experiences. You exactly. can teach. Teach I w- from I your was- experience. For the holiday, I was with my cousins, mm-hmm. and, you know, they were really kind of shocked at some of the things I was revealing oh, wow. about myself. Right. And I stopped and said, you know what? The man who can tell you uh-huh. how to fix your car the best is the fella that tore his up. Oh, see there? Because he knows exactly what not to he do. He knows. <laughs> right. I don't need the fella that maintained his perfectly right. because he's never had the mishap of mm-hmm. the pothole. Mm-hmm. He's mm-hmm. never been irresponsible, so he doesn't know how far he can go. Right. See, I can tell you how far 
a car can go when the, when the light is on E. Right. I can tell you got eight more miles. Okay. How? Because I ran out when I went now. There you go. Right That's how there. I know. Right. Experience. <laughs> That's the best teacher. Do you have a top 10 for us? I do today? have a top 10. I see we're getting, uh, uh, the time is running away from us. Uh, <laughs> talking about the influence of environment. Top 10 environmental influences. This yes. is not going to be good. Number 10, <laughs> aesthetics. Okay. How everything looks. Right. How is it we can live in communities that have vacant lots and abandoned houses for years without any protests? Wow. Nobody cuts the grass. Everybody cuts through the lawn. Everybody throwing trash in there. If it looks bad, it's going to be bad and we're going to treat it bad. Oh, Number nine. Whoa. Government and resources. Mm hmm. There are no resources. Some of us live in nutritional deserts. Ain't nothing around but a candy store. <laughs> You can't even walk to McDonald's or Walgreens or any of the things that a normal family would need. Oh, my. Government. Uh -huh. Somebody's got to say it. There's such an inequity of governmental resources. Uh -huh. A lot of money is spent on neighborhoods that got money. Right. We need some of that money down here. Fix these street lights and these fire hydrants. <laughs> Educate these kids. Get us some books in yes. our schools. Let yes. me move on. Move on. Number eight, nutrition. Uh -huh. You are what you eat. Okay. If you only eat hot crunchy curls with cheese and <laughs> ground beef, that's what you're going to be. Give these kids a hot breakfast, some fruit and some vegetables. Yes. What do you want? Oh, get me some uh, fried chicken and some McDonald's and I'm going to go down there and get me a Polish. No. Right. You are affected. Your mind and your body are affected by the nutritional value mm -hmm. of your food. Mm -hmm. Number seven. Ecumenical outreach. Oh, right. Big word. It means the church. Church. Why are we denying the fact that this thing is spiritual? Right. When you get through talking about who shot who and what's going on with the government and everything, mm -hmm. the Bible has clearly outlined that these things are going to mm. happen. Some of this stuff is spiritual. And the only people that deal with the spiritual things is the spiritual church. Ah. Got to get out the door and stop beating the tambourines and playing the organ there you go. and, 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 and uh, 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 rebuke some of these devils uh -huh. and go out out here and pray and on these street corners and anoint these corners before the people get up That's right. and your neighborhood will change. Mm -hmm. uh, top 10 environmental influences. Heritage. Uh huh. Yeah. You're doing it because your grandma did it. See? And your grandma did it because her mama Vicious did it. Cycle. And your mama did it because her mama did it. Mm -hmm. And you doing it because you just silly. You watching everybody else doing <laughs> it. You think it's right because after 40 years everybody's done it and everybody has accepted it. Right. Even if it's wrong. Uh huh. Number five. Uh, environmental influences you you are an environmental influence on yourself wow. personal accountability is everything there are a lot of things that you can say well i didn't have the resources i didn't have the education i didn't have this yeah. but you had you uh -huh. i don't care what you didn't have you can overcome there's some stuff you can stop doing right. well i smoke because i'm nervous but the cigarettes down <laughs> Everybody knock them out your hand and you want to fight <laughs> this is your fault some of this stuff is not our fault it's your fault <laughs> Number four. Environment influ influences. Number four, education. Uh -huh. Education and uh, the lack thereof. Some of the things that we are taught uh, affect our environment. Mm -hmm. Some of the things that we're taught affect how we move and how we live and how we feel think yes and watch this don't blame it all on the teacher pick up a book right. and educate yourself there you go uh number three mm -hmm. music we went from what's going on to what's ongoing okay uh, music used to affect us yes. music uh let me give you a quick example uh my music director he's 19 he was coming out of the store and uh, there was a car there and they were playing usher but when they saw him come out they mm -hmm. turned to chief keith See? What is that? Whoa. Because you're trying to portray an image uh, of toughness or wow. you're trying to give some instruction. I, I saw a man with his babies in the back of the car just rapping out 50 Cent. That hey, right? that's environment. Mm -hmm. Now your kids will grow up and that's all exactly. the music they get. Exactly. Our music needs to talk about something mm -hmm. to expose our children to something better. Yes. I'm glad I said exposure because number two is exposure. <laughs> right. Go downtown to the Civic Center. Uh -huh. Go down to a classical concert. Go, go to Ravinia. Yeah. Get out the hood. Yes. You done bought that brand new car and you ride around in circles all day showing off to the friends on the porch on 58th Street. Get out of there. Get on the expressway. Hit the road. Go see what the rest of the world there is you go, like. Right Take there. your kids to a zoo up north. Take your kids out of town and show what happens uh -huh, in the country. Uh -huh. Expose them to something different from what they see every uh -huh, day. Uh -huh. And finally, your mama and your daddy. All right. That's your environmental influence. There you go. I'm gone. Because we got one minute. We got one minute. <laughs>
Well, thank God for the top 10. Thank God for Pastor Marlo Cribs. Of course, we're at the end. I am going to post my People in Need campaign announcement. St. George and St. Matthias Episcopal Church. They do feed the homeless on Saturdays. Outreach. And uh, there you go, 164 East 111th Street. I will post this. My ending scripture on today, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 23. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you so much for listening. I'm trying to rush. We thank you for listening. Please join us again on next week. And we will see you then. You've just been listening to Mind, Body, and Soul with an Act. Where your host, Annette Harris, provides biblical and psychological understanding for your everyday concerns. Need more insight? Visit her Facebook page at Mind, Body, and Soul with Annette, Annette Harris. And please be sure to tune in again next week for Mind, Body, and Soul with Annette.